Okay, so yung lesson po natin ngayon is all about the equation of a circle. So, you, meron po tayong dalawang equation of a circle or dalawang form po ng equation of a circle. So, yung una po is the standard form. So, standard form po. Pagka po sinabi natin standard form, ito po yung maiksi lang. So, it is given by x minus h squared plus y minus k squared po raised to 2. So, y minus x minus x minus ayaw. Okay. So, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. Ayan. So, yun po yung standard equation ng ating circle. So, kapag ka po circle, meron po tayong fixed point, for example. Tapos, ayan po, bibilog ka lang. So, yun po yung pinaka circle po natin. So, katulad po ng ginagamit natin na compass, meron po tayong fixed point. Ayun po yung parang ball pen sa compass. And then, meron kang lapis. Yung lapis po yung pinapaikot mo. Ngayon po, um, let's say for example, um, ang center po ng circle natin, which is given by HK, so yung center po, center natin, ang um, coordinates niya po ay H at K po. So, H at K po yung coordinates ng ating circle. So, burayin po natin ito. Ayan. So, yung center is given by equals to H and K. So, yan po yung center ng ating circle. Yan po. Coordinates niya po yan. And then, yun naman pong R natin dyan, that is the, of course, it is the radius. Yan. So, radius po natin yan. Okay? Then, next po, um, let's say, for example, yung pong circle natin, ang center niya po ay nasa origin. So, alam naman po natin na kapag ka origin po yung center, that is equivalent to 0, 0. Ang coordinates po ng ano niya ay 0, 0. And then, let's say yung pong radius natin, ang R po natin ay 6. So, ang gagawin lang po dyan, so, yung R po natin ay equivalent to 6. Ang gagawin po para makuha po yung equation of a circle, syempre, sulat mo po yung um, standard form po. So, x minus h x minus h squared tapos po plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. So, ganyan po yung ginagawa natin. So, yan po yung standard equation. Then, substitute ka lang po. So, that would be x minus 0 squared. Ayan po. And then, plus, copy mo po yung plus. Tapos, y minus 0 po. So, y minus 0, yung k mo kasi 0 squared. Yan. Equals to, ang r po natin ay 6, tapos naka-squared. Yan. So, yan po yung um, naka-substitute na. Then, x minus 0, that is x squared. Tapos, yung y minus 0, that is still y. Tapos, naka-squared po siya, kaya po y squared plus y squared equals to 6 times 6 is 36. So, yan na po. Yan ay magiging answer mo sa <coughs> pinaka standard equation or standard form ng ating circle. So, ganyan lang po kadali yung standard form. Wala ka na pong ibang gagawin. So, standard form po yan. Let's say naman po, um, 
Yun po kasing general form po natin, it is given by yung pong mahaba. Kung baga, yung pong kanina, oh, magbigay po tayo ng isang example, tapos ituloy po natin sa um, general form. So, let's say yung pong center po natin dito sa next na given po natin ay 2, 3, tapos po yung naman pong or yung pong radius po natin ay equivalent to 6 ulit. Yan. Okay. So ang gawin po muna natin ay standard form. Lagi kang dadan sa standard form bago mo siya magawang um, general form. So we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals to r squared. Ayan. Tapos, substitute ka lang po. That would be x minus, tapos, ito po yung, ano mo, ito po yung value ng, a, ng h, plus, yung k mo naman, ang value niya po ay 3. So, y minus 3 squared equals to Ayan. So, yung radius po natin that is 6, tapos raised to 2. Okay. So, yan po. So, yung x minus 2 squared, ginagamitan po yan ng FOIL method or yung pong pampaiksi po ng ating um, binomial na naka-squared. So, pwede pong x minus 2 times x minus 2, pwede pong gamitan ng FOIL method. Pero, yung pong mas maiksi para shortcut ka, Square the first term, so x times x, that would be x squared. And then, twice the product of the first and the second term. So, yung first term doon, x. Yung second term po doon ay negative 2. So, x times negative 2, that is negative 2x po, di ba? Tapos, imamultiply by 2 mo siya. So, negative 2x times 2, that would be negative 4x. So, yan po yung magiging sagot. Then, lastly, yung pong gagawin natin ay square the last term. Negative 2 times negative 2, that would be positive 4. So, yan. Lagi nyo tatandaan yung first at last term po natin, laging positive kapag ka po binomial siya na naka-square. Tapos po, plus, yan. Yung y minus 3 squared naman po. So, that would be, Square the, the first term, y times y, that would be y squared. So, y squared po. And then, um, twice the product of the first and the second term, y times negative 3, ang sagot po nun, negative 3y. Times 2, that would be negative 6y. Tapos po nun, um, Square the last term, negative 3 times negative 3, so positive 9. Yan po. Equals, so 6 squared na po tayo, 6 squared, 6 times 6, 36. Yan. Okay. Then, ang gagawin lang po natin dito, okay, ang gagawin lang po natin, um, para po makuha natin yung pinaka- General form dito, ayusin lang po natin yung exponent niya. From highest to lowest, and then syempre, alphabetical. So, mauna pa rin po yung x squared. Meron pa ba may squared? So, yung pong y squared plus y squared. Yan. So, isasama nyo po nun yung symbol, syempre. Isasama po natin yung pinaka-symbol. So, next sa x ka ulit, negative 4x, or yung sign, kasama po yung sign, katulad nyan. Then, negative 6y. Yan. Tapos po, sa mga number ka na lang, plus 4, plus 9, equals to 36. Tapos po, ayusin mo lang, samahin mo lang po yung mga number, lipat mo po yung 36 sa kabila, so that would be x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y tapos po yung 4 plus 9, that would be plus 13 
Tapos, um, yung 36 po, lipat mo sa kabila, magiging negative 36. Yan. So, pwede na po natin i-simplify. So, <clears throat> minus 36 equals to 0. Nawala na po kasi yung nasa kanan. Kaya, 0 na lang po yun. And then, so, that, that would be x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 6y. Tapos po, um, eto po, positive 13 minus 36. So, this would be negative 23 equals to 0. So, yan na po yung tinatawag na general equation or general form po ng equation of a circle po natin. So, general form po yan. Yung mahabang yan. Ngayon, ang general form po, it is given by, kung mapapansin nyo po, x squared plus y squared. Ito po yung general form ha. Plus dx plus ey. Tapos, plus F, yung number lang, equals to 0. So, yan po yung general po natin. X squared plus Y squared plus DX plus EY plus F equals to 0. So, ganyan lang po kadali yung ginagawa natin. Ngayon po, let's try na um, iba po yung gagawin po natin. Um, pabaliktaran po. Uh, minahanap naman yung center tsaka yung radius given naman po yung equation ng ating circle. So, try na lang po natin yung naging sagot natin doon sa taas. So, x squared plus y squared minus 4y minus 6, sorry, minus 4x x squared plus y squared minus 4x rather minus 6y Minus 23 equals to 0. Yan. So, yan po. Ang gagawin po natin dyan, pag-iwalayin po natin, pagsamahin natin dito yung x at y naman. Yung x at y yung pagsasamahin. Yung mga, yung mga magka, magkatabing letter, pagtatabihin lang po pala. So, this is x squared minus 4x. Yan. Tatabi lang po natin siya. Tapos, maglagay ka na po ng space. So, plus blank. Plus blank po ha. Tapos, syempre, dun ka na sa y. So, lagyan lang po natin. Plus. Ulitin po natin. So, x squared minus 4x. Tapos po, plus blank. So, blank na po yun. So, nakaparentesis po yan. Tapos, dito po yung plus. Lagyan po ulit natin parenthesis. So, y squared naman po. y squared. Tapos po, minus 6y. Inaayos lang po natin. Plus, blank po siya ulit. Tapos, nakaparenthesis po. Tapos, eto pong number lang. Yung number lang po. Ang gagawin po natin dyan, ililipat natin sa kabila. So, kung negative 23 po siya dyan, magiging equals positive 23 na po siya sa kanan. Yan. Okay. So, kukompletuhin po natin to completing the square tulad po ng pinag-aralan nyo nung kayo ay nasa grade 9. So, x minus 4x ang ginagawa po. Um, yung gitnang number, ayun po, yung may kasamang x lang, i-divide po natin siya by 2. So, negative 4 divided by 2, that is negative 2. Tapos, si negative 2, i-squared po natin siya. So, negative 2 times negative 2. So, ang sagot po dyan, positive 4. Doon po siya lalagay sa pinaka parent. Doon po sa blank. So, x squared minus 4x. Tapos, divide by 2, then squared po natin na. Completing the square po. Plus 4. Plus, y squared minus 6y. So, yan po. 
Si 6y negative 6 po, i-divide by 2, so that would be negative 3. Tapos po, i-squared po natin. I-squared po natin si negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3, that would be positive 9. Ayan. Equals to 23. Ayan po. Okay. So, eto dahil um, binomial po siya, perfect square po yung x squared minus 4x plus 4, parang yung kanina lang po natin ginawa. So, this is um, x minus 2, bali po x minus 2 squared po ito, dahil um, yung una nun, yung x po, i-divide mo siya by x. So, parang kukuha niyo po yung square root ng x squared. So, x lang po yun. Tapos, um, eto pong negative 4x, diba dinivide po natin sa 2? So, negative 2, kaya po negative 2 yung nandiyadyaan. Tapos, nakarace na po siya sa 2. Ganun lang po siya, kadali. Kukuha niyo lang natin. Katulad po nito, plus, eto po, y squared divided, y squared, ano po yung square root niya? Y po. Okay, so, that would be y. Tapos, yung pong negative 6, dinivide po natin sa 2 kanina. So, that would be negative 3. Tapos, nakasquared na po siya. Yan. Equals to... Tapos, kung ano po yung in mo doon sa mga blanko kanina, ia-add din po natin dito sa kanan pala. Okay? So, plus 4. Tapos po, plus 9. Ayan. So, nalimutan po natin i-add sa dulo. Kung ano po yung mo kanina doon sa mga blanko, ia-add mo din po yun, same number ng ia-add mo doon sa kanan. So, this is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals, ayan, 23 plus 4 plus 9, 23 plus 4 plus 9, that would be 36. Tapos, kuhanin mo lang po yung square root na itong ano, ayan, ayan po, so 36, dahil po radius, naka square po yung nasa kanan natin, so x minus 2 squared, plus y minus 3 squared equals, yung 36 po, ang um, perfect square po niyan ay 6. Kaya, equals to 6. Ngayon, kuhanan lang po natin yung h. ba x minus. X minus. Minus po yan. Kaya, ang h po natin ay 2. Ang k po natin, y minus. 3 po yung ano niya, kasama niya. So, yan. So, yan po yung ating center. And then, yung pong radius natin, of course, yung radius natin ay 6. Yan, o, diba? Same po nung naisagot natin kanina. So, ganyan lang po kadali yung gagawin. Ganyan lang po kadali yung paghahanap natin. O, let's say naman po, um, iba po yung given natin. Uh, paano kaya kapag ka ang naging given po natin ay 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 12x minus 4y minus 90 equals to 0. Yan. So, medyo mahaba po yung ano natin. Tapos, um, Meron pa po tayong mga number number. So ang gagawin po diyan, divide all, divide all, divide po natin lahat ng terms, divide all the terms by 4. Ayun po, ayun po kasi pinakamababa yung 4. So 4x squared divided by 4, that would be x squared. Tapos 4y squared divided by 4, so plus y squared. And 12x divided by 4, so plus 3x. And then, um, negative 4y divided by 4, so negative y. Tapos po, negative 90 divided by 
um, 4. So, minus 90 over 4. Ayan. Equals to 0. Ayan po. Ngayon, ayusin po natin siya. Yung katulad po nung kanina magkakasama yung x. So, x squared plus 3x. Alagyan po natin ng parenthesis. x squared plus 3x plus blank. Kasi po, wala nang kasama. Then, close parenthesis plus. Sa y naman po, y squared minus y tapos po plus blank. Tapos, um, dito, yun naman po ang ano natin ay ayan. So, yung pong negative 90 over 4, lilipot naman po natin sa kanan yun. So, magiging equals 90 over 4 naman siya. Ayan. Ayan. Dito po, perfect square na po natin. Ayan, no? Bali po, um, yun pong x squared plus 3x. Ayan, yun pong 3x na yun. So, x squared plus 3x. Ayan. 3x divided by or 3 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2 is 3 over 2. Tama? 3 over 2 po. 3 divided by 2 is 3 over 2. Pakita ko lang. 3 divided by 2 is 3 over 2. Tapos po, um, imumultiply mo po yan sa sarili niya. So, 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. Ang magiging sagot po, 3 times 3, equal po siya niyan sa 9 over 4. Ayan. So, 9 over 4 po yung ilalagay natin dito sa um, sa blanco. 9 over 4. Ayan. Tapos po, sa y naman, plus y squared minus y. Ito po. Minus y daw. So, negative 1 divided by, divide po natin sa 2. So, negative 1 half. And then, square mo yan or multiply by itself. So, negative 1 half times negative 1 half. So, magiging positive 1 over 4. So, yun po yung lalagay natin sa blanco. So, plus 1 over 4. Ayan. Equals to 90 over 4. Tapos, kung ano in-add mo dyan, yun din i-add mo sa kana nalimutan po na, yun po yung nalimutan kanina plus 9 over 4 plus 1 over 4 ayan okay next dito po dahil ayan ay perfect square na so sabi ko nga sa inyo x divided by x so x na po yun x square divided by x x na po yun so x then yung pong um Yung gitna kanina na dinidivide po natin, so, 3 divided by 2, so, plus 3 over 2, naka-squared po siya. Ayan. Plus, yung y po, so, y squared divided by y, that would be y. Tapos, yung gitna po, negative 1 po yan, divided by 2, so, yan po isusot mo. Minus 1 half squared equals to eto po mag add ka na 90 plus 9 plus 1 kasi pare-pares po sila ng denominator kaya po um, similar denominator po yan similar fractions so i-add lang po natin yung numerator 90 plus 9 plus 1 that is 100 tapos po over 4 kasi pare-pares silang denominator ayan so, we have x plus 3 over 2 squared plus y minus 1 half, sorry, y minus 1 half squared equals to 100 divided by 4 is 25. Ayan. So, x plus 3 over 2 na po siya. So, ang mangyayari po niyan, so, x plus 3 over 2 squared 
plus y minus 1 half squared equals to ang 25 po ang perfect square niyan ay 5 squared. Yan. Okay. So, ang center na po natin yan, ang center po, equivalent na po siya, sabi niya, x plus, naging plus po siya. Kapag ka nakita niya naging plus, ibig sabihin, yung pong ano mo nun, coordinates mo ay negative 3 over 2. Pag ka nakita mo naging plus po siya, negative po siya nun, no? Pag ka nakita mo negative, automatic positive. Baliktad po dito para makuha po yung coordinates. So, negative 3 over 2, and, ano po yung partner Y ay minus 1 half. Minus po siya doon, kaya po yung positive po yung 1 and 1 half. So, yan po yung coordinates ng center. Ang radius naman po natin na equivalent sa 5, of course. So, ganyan lang po kadali yung lesson po natin. So, that's all for today.